How's it going guys? Pam for Films here and today we're going to be reacting to Season 1, Episode 11 of Andor. This episode is titled Daughter of Phoenix. Now last episode, which I didn't react to, was fucking amazing. What a fantastic way to end that part of the story. From like the acting to the plan coming together to the like the music and the emotions that was going through all the characters it was so good. And of course we lost a few characters along the way, but what a great escape. Overall though, I think it went pretty well. <laughs> Minus Kino, because Kino said he couldn't swim, but I assume he's still alive. I don't know. We lost a few people too, but it was a success. You know, we got out. We're free. However, how long were Andor and I can't remember the other guy's name swimming for? And on the other side of the story, we had Lonnie, who is one of the ISB agents. Turns out he's actually with the Rebellion and is working for Luthan and giving him information, which, you know, I 100% predicted. I always looked at him and he was like, he's, he's kind of acting a little weird or paranoid. I don't know. Something about him just gives off that energy. But yeah, I mean... The episode was fucking great. I loved the ending where, like, Keenan was saying he couldn't swim, and then, like, Cassian's like, wait, what? <laughs> After all that, you can't swim? So I wonder, like, what happens to Keenan then? I mean, you're going to have to bring him back. He's played by fucking Andy Serkis. Like, that beginning portion of the episode where he was, like, he couldn't say the words to all the other prisoners. Like, he was holding in, he was, he was enraged, he was pissed off, and then he just used that rage to fight back, and I love it. I also had the scene from episode 9 come back where like Andor's cutting the pipe and getting the water out. So it was cool that that came into the plan a little bit. But most of the people that we knew in the prison arc are dead now, other than Kino and uh, the guy that escaped with Andor. Can't remember his name. But yeah, I'm pretty excited to get into this episode considering it is the penultimate episode of the season. I assume Andor's going to be on the run. Maybe there'll be a little bit of a time jump. Who knows? But yeah, we're coming towards the end of a fucking fantastic show so far. It's been great. But yeah, that about sums it up. So let's stop do lying around with this shitty intro and get right into the fucking episode. Wait, what? Wasn't this where... Last episode ended? No living. No living. Jesus. You could have, like, gone down to a more safer place. Also, where are all the other prisoners? In the droid. I'm gonna take her out in a minute, if you want to say goodbye. Oh, is she dead? I want the Marva. B's gonna help you get organised. There's a lot to be done. The daughters of Ferex require your assistance. They killed her off screen? What the fuck? It's in Cassian doesn't know. Looks like someone died. What happens? I still find it funny that nobody knows that Cassian was in prison. Looks like it's just these two. They didn't walk here. Their theme must be killing. Why are they the only two left? <laughs> what is it? It's a quad jumper. It's an old one. Is that good? It could be good. Because if it's old enough, it can't be trapped, right? Sometimes. Not if there's someone else in there. We get out here. Yeah. No, I feel it. Who's getting... Uh, someone's dying. Uh, <laughs> you fucking idiots. What happens now? As a prominent citizen of Ferrix, she writes a big send-off. We want a funeral. Excuse me? You're going to give them a permit. You want to put them in a box, stand back and watch. The dead are bricked. They mix your ashes with mortar and local stone dust. You become a block of Ferrix brick. That's interesting. Choose each two. A thousand each, the upper bee. One for each of us, greedy. <laughs> we meant you. No harm. We killed nothing. We were trapped. We were trapped there. It's their prison. Oh, always the Empire, here. Yeah. What, what is he saying? We see a time or death, the upper nose. Who is this? Who's that? They're going to get saved by someone. May not be killing ye. May it today. Oh, fair enough. Where are ye be looking to run now, eh? Yeah, what? Jesus, that's terrifying. Oh look, there's Star Killer again. Can I help you? My cousin. I understand she shops here. Where is he? The Fondor's gone. Check the back on the way in. I gave him Aldani. What a 
have you done lately? Ooh. Cassie and Andor. The mother died. I wonder if they knew the mother because she's a rebel, right? Where's Bix? Still being interrogated or she's been killed? Big man's on site. I want full coverage. Spotters front and back. I want to know immediately about any comings and goings. So that's the Empire and then Sinter's paying attention to. Hey, time to go. Look, go where? Head to my place. I'm charging. <laughs> I'm charging. You could stay. One night. <laughs> What did she hear? Doesn't take long. I guess that would kind of ruin it though, but still. Just a general idea of what it sounded like. Why are they keeping her alive? Oof. I'm going to ask you a question. Anto Krieger. Hmm. Is this the man you introduced to Cassian Andor? No. Oh, wait. He kind of looked like... He was sympathising with her a little bit. You did it. <laughs> I thought this was over. Back, you're not following the trends. I can't believe this. She found the Elder. Ugh. I'm in so much trouble, Val. Yeah. You fucked up. A few months ago, I was contacted by one of the bankers back home. I pulled everything I could access up the hill into the main account. To Luthen, I told him that I needed help from the outside, that I need the risk. Take Olmer, and you trust him. No. <laughs> yes, I do. Huh, fair enough. Suddenly everything is frozen. What he really did was discover just how much more trouble I was in. 400,000. Does Luther know? No. Some know. This can't be exposed. I know that. I found a solution. I mean, we know Mom Mothma's gonna be fine, right? I fucking can't. Half. It's Dedra. Oh, oh him? Good to see you. Yes, yes, I think so. Been a bit rugged for me lately, but you know. What? It What's he doing? I'm calling about Andor. You wanted news if I had it. Yeah, yes, please, go on. The mother! You were talking about Andor. Yeah, she's she's passed away. Where is Andor? Yes! Yes, that's it! That he might show up at the funeral! <laughs> he might show up. That's, there's nothing to go off there. Andor doesn't even know. There's all his weapons and stuff in there still, yeah. Oh, did he just sneak into someone's room? Surprisingly, nobody found that box. What's all this? So. Put it down or give it back. Oh. So tell Krieger I'm in. You're too late. He's going tomorrow. We'll be ready. We have charts. They'll be waiting for us. And how do we know this? I won't tell you that. How do you know I won't tell it? I don't. I don't know what you'll do. <laughs> Which means either you're ISB, or you have someone inside that you are protecting. You think it's worth losing Krieger? What if it was me instead of Krieger? What would you do? Well, Krieger doesn't know me. I'm not vulnerable if he's captured. You have people everywhere, don't you? See, now he's going to be paranoid. Who is it? It's Tubes. Qui es el chico? Putuka. What kind of game is this? He was lying. There's no way out alive. Of that you must be sure. Krieger goes down. The ISB will feel invincible. If I were ISB, so why wouldn't I just send you out there with him? True. Because then it would just be a two birds, one stone situation. Thing is that we haven't really seen Krieger, have we? Let's call him. War. War. Never changes. That's music for Khan. That looked like it was like a sensor or something. You should come home. You need to think of the consequences of losing that piece to another collector. I'm preparing for every outcome. Luthen? Luthen? Someone listening? Oh, he's being jammed. What the fuck is that shit? This is an Imperial patrol. Stand by for transponder scan. Yes, this is Alderaan 1291205. Stand by, Hallcraft. What's out there? Arrest your cruiser. Cantwell class. Three clicks and Do you not have sensors? This is 
there's a piracy zone. Oh, thank you for the warning. Uh, I'll be careful. You'll be standing by. Port side thrust at four. Well, now they know his shit. Tractor beam has been engaged, Hawkcraft. Please power down your stabilizers. Imagine he just dies now, Luthen. I have to manual these stabilizers. Cancel the boarding? No. We can use the practice. What the fuck? Does he think he can get away? Oh, yeah, he can. Countermeasures on. <laughs> That's it. Tractor beacon is failing us. I can see that. I see how good of a pilot he is. He's good. He's good. He's a good pilot. Go for the bridge. Go for the bridge. Go for the bridge. Go for the bridge. Ah. What the fuck? He <laughs> got bested. But now they know his shit. Is Cassian coming back to Felix? Where are you? Tell Marva I'm okay. Cass, hang on. No names. Just say it. She's dead. Your mother's dead. Oof. That's a great shot. Is he gonna go back to Felix? How many of us made it out alive? I don't know. Kino, well, we don't know if he made it. I mean, he couldn't swim. Somebody's got to tell people what's happening back there. People have to know what's going on. Is he going to go back to Ferex next episode? Pretty solid episode. A little bit slower than what I was expecting, but it was still fine. It just didn't really feel like the penultimate episode of the season in a way, you know? Like, we're not building towards this big thing for the finale, right? Which makes me think they're going to end next episode with a massive cliffhanger and then tie up everything in season two, which 100% they will do. Andor's mother's dead, which... Fucking sucks. It makes it worse when it was off screen too. You know, you didn't, she didn't have like one more big final scene with her droid or, you know, the guy that's been kind of taking care of her a little bit or even Biggs. But yeah, Marva's gone. I'm kind of surprised they killed her off screen, but like I was expecting her to have like one more big dialogue scene with maybe Cassian and then like die, but maybe that would just be a bit too cliche. You know, it, it, it sucks seeing the droid like sad. Like, the droid was kind of crying at the beginning of the episode with, like, the water. I do wonder if Cassian's going to look for his sister then. Because they definitely set that up in, like, the first fucking episode of the show, right? So why wouldn't they continue that storyline going into season two? Like, that's probably going to be the cliffhanger for next episode. What if Dedra is Cassian's sister? Imagine. That would be fucking stupid, though. <laughs> we finally got to see uh, Luthen's piloting skills. And let's be honest, they're pretty fucking good. But I'm just surprised his ship didn't have any sensors in it. And it didn't detect a ship approaching. I mean, Luthen has to die, right? He's not in the original trilogy. He's not in Rogue One. So he probably dies, maybe next episode or next season. And then maybe Andor takes his ship? Because we've still got to bring in, like, K2, right? Which might be next episode too. There's a lot that still needs to happen leading into Rogue One. Like, we're going to see what happens to Saw Gravera, right? Because he needs his, like, breather in Rogue One. So we're going to see him get fucked up more. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Khan's involvement in the story is kind of not needed. Like, ever since episode 3, he's not been doing anything. He's just been at home... And then he's been obsessed with Andor. Like, I get it, he's obsessed, but at least, like, move his story forward a little bit, you know? Because in the first three episodes, he managed to find Andor like that. And now, ever since that episode, he's just been obsessing about him. And not doing much for the overall, like, plot, you know? Because Dedra, I think, has took, like, the forefront of what Khan's role was in the first three episodes... Dedra's now took that spot. And, you know, she's doing pretty decent at that. But it, I still find it funny that the ISP didn't know that Andor was already in prison. And I'm also kind of surprised that the ISP or, like, the Empire didn't bring up the prison break at all. I'm also curious if we'll see Kino again. I feel like we will. Like, 
there's no way there isn't ships in that prison somewhere. Like, how did the Empire get off it? I do find it really cool, though, that Cassian's story, or rebellion story in a way, starts on a beach with the ending of this episode. And his journey and his story ends on a beach too, in Vogue One. This first season, to me, has definitely felt like Andor's journey into becoming a rebel that we know and love from Vogue One, right? But that scene where, you know, he was talking to that guy on Ferrix about, you know, Marva would be proud of me. That's that spark in him where he wants to be a rebel, right? Like, Marvel would be proud of him being a rebel. Like, he fought back, he's fighting back against the Empire. You know, he's going to tell people about what's been happening in the prisons and stuff. It's really just a spark of rebellion, in a way, that's happened this episode. And now, that spark really starts with Vogue One too, And that's when he dies. Like, if it wasn't for Andor, the original trilogy wouldn't have happened. Which is crazy to think about. Obviously, that's kind of retconned and like brought into the new canon and shit. So, it is what it is. But it's fine. Also, I'm very curious, like who Luthen's assistant is to him. Is she just someone that kind of came into this rebel life, or is she related to him in any kind of way? Is she his daughter? Maybe I've said it before, but Andor is just one of them rare occasions where a show comes out and it's fucking great, but nobody talks about it. But it's such a great show. Like, especially last episode, man. Last episode was so fucking good. That hype of escaping the prison, all the prisoners working together. Especially since it was like a three episode story arc. But the show's well written. The acting's fantastic. You actually feel for the characters. Cinematography's fucking fantastic. The, uh, oh, I've said it, but like the dialogue, it's well written. Like, I just, I can't believe this show isn't doing as well as it should be. Because now Disney's going to be like, well, this show's not doing too well, so uh, we're not going to do this kind of show anymore. We're going to do something else. Part of me is kind of worried about how long it's going to take until we see season two. It's got to be 2024 at the latest, right? I mean, we do have Mandalorian at the start of next year, or in like, is it two months? Three months? It's in February, right? So it's not that long. Do we have to wait until the next Star Wars thing? Actually, we've got Bad Batch 2 in January. That's going to be a little bit iffy for me, because I am going on holiday, potentially, in January, so we'll have to see if I'll be able to be after them few first few episodes. If we go back to Marva for a second, I don't like that she died off-screen, but at the same time, it's kind of similar to how Andor would be feeling for the audience. You know, we could have had one more scene with her, or something like that. And Andor could have spent a little bit more time with her before she passed. Like, it kind of works both ways. Andor wanted to spend more time with her. The audience wanted to have one more scene with her. I wanted to have one more scene with her, at least. And I do want to see more of, like, the backstory. Like, what happened after um, Cass's dad died. I'm very curious to see how long next episode is. Is it going to be an extended episode, like an hour or so? Or are we just sticking to normal... 40 minute episode length. But yeah, pretty decent penultimate episode, even though it didn't really feel like a penultimate episode in a way. But I'm very excited to see how all this kind of connects in terms of the storylines and stuff. And hopefully they don't end with a bad cliffhanger and it ends in a pretty decent way to be excited for the next season. But we'll find out next week, won't we? Yeah, that basically wraps up the shitty review. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I will see you for the Andor finale. Ta-ta! And fair.